Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here, and welcome to the next episode. So I've already um, gone and healed, and now we're in the area where we're supposed to be. That, um... Sorry if there was a bit of an echo. We found a peepee -pee up. And a hyper potion. I don't think this room existed at all. Or it may have existed, but not in this form. There we can see James and Meow. But if we go in here, we see a rocket grunt with an item. Ha 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 ha! What's that? You say the elevator doesn't work? Of course not! I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time. So let's fight him for that lift key. If you did try to do the elevator before, it would not work. Here we go. Something for Raichu to obliterate. Go away, Glimer. No! Gah! Now how am I supposed to keep you from taking the lift key? Guess I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. I hope my boss doesn't hear about this. Ha, ha, pew. Without that key, there's no way you're making it to the boss. If you think you can get at it, get, get it back from up there, then I'm sure that I do, blah, 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 I can't talk. I, sh I sh do sure like to see you try. So yeah, so in the original game, Anifara and Leaf Green, he just drops it. They're like, oops, I dropped the lift key. Are you getting that lift key now? Not unless you know some way to walk on top of the walls or something like that. That, that will happen. That Pokemon yours looks pretty nimble, I gotta say. Yeah, so this guy pretty much tells you what you need to do. There is a ventilation system. If there was a stool, a step stool or something, maybe it would be possible to reach the top from here. Look around, see if you if you if you can find something that could help you climb up, climb on. Let's try. This chair could probably be used as a step. What do you think, Lo What do you think, Raichu? Raichu is bursting with energy. I agree. Let's get on top. Up you go. B. <laughs> now it's time for your partner to shine. Get that key from the Team Rocket Grunt that the Team Rocket Grunt threw. This is, I think, the only time you get to control your partner Pokemon. Uh, being Pikachu or Eevee, and I kind of like this segment. I wish they did this more. Oh, I have to say, this is a pretty unique segment because of this. And Eveline's having the time of her life. So let's get the lift key. And who's that in the background? Seems familiar. There's a four long time fans. Did you hear something just now? I did. There's certainly a noise. But definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? Be. Never mind. It's just been Meow's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing. And we just click on me and we go down. And that Team Rocket guy just bailed. Eveline came back to you. You got the lift key from Eveline. So I was wondering, was she just holding that in like her mouth? 
Okay, but now we can access to certain areas that we weren't able to get to. Unfortunately, there is no elevator on this floor, so we have to go upstairs to get to the elevator. So we need to go through this spinning puzzle again. Uh, let's see, we go this way. We go forward. And then we do this. And spin our way to victory. Anyway, here's that elevator you could not access if you didn't have the lift key. Let's first go up to the first floor, because there's one or two grunts we couldn't fight before. Being this guy. Are you lost, little child? No, I'm not, but I'm definitely going to beat you. Because Raichu's definitely going to blow that away with Thunderbolt or Psychic. Da -da 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 Okay, I'll switch you out now to Akawedo. Let's bite away that ghost. Now that I think about it, how is Ghost weak to dark? To dark? Because don't ghosts thrive in the dark? Why? I agree with that sentiment too. Why are ghosts weak to dark? Uh oh, that ruckus somehow opened the door. This way, you can um, be able to sneak behind here and get the items that uh, you would have battled this guy, but I will buy battle him anyway. Who are you? How did you get here? But this also gives you a quick little shortcut uh, to the exit, so you can go in, oh, outside, go to the Pokemon Center and heal up if you need to. Especially if you're coming down from the 4th floor, or after, after some of the fights down there. Which, I am debating if I should go and heal. Well, not really heal, but do it so that way I can recover my PP. Because there are a decent amount of fights. Um, yeah, let's get some Aquabato in, in for some action. Do 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 do. Drown this rat in the waterfall. Mm -hmm. Another ratata. Dan dan dan. Da 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 grew to level 33. Ow! I got hurt. I got I got hurt. I got beat bad. Okay, let me just... You know, keep him like that. No, I'll have Pyre be next to Raichu. That's all the grunts that we could battle. Now let's go down to the fourth floor. Uh, let's see, I don't think there's anybody over here but an item. An elixir! 
Now, we saw them um, uh, on our way here. But here is Jesse and James. You! You're that twerp from Mount Moon! Just how long are you going to follow us around? Now, I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? You could say, you can say join Team Rocket, but I think they call you out on it. Saying that you're lying. But I'm here the rest of your Cubone. What? That Cubone? Ha, we already gave that poor thing to the boss. It doesn't matter. There's no way we're going to let you, letting you through to see the boss. It's time for payback for those fossils from Mount Moon, you brat. Isn't the word you normally use is twerp? But anyway, their Pokemon have evolved! So let's uh, use Psychic on our box, since I believe that's the more threatening out of the two. And uh, Flamethrower uh, Weezing. Since I think Weezing's more of a physical wall than a special wall. And Great Pyrus paralyzed! And they're all getting up on her! Do I have any paralysis heals in my bag? Uh, let's try out the new move, Dark Pulse. Of course, Pyro's gonna be the last thing that's gonna attack because of paralysis. There goes Weezing! Poison Jab! Ooh, they're doing decent damage. Pyra can't move! Wanted to show off the new move, and it's like, nope. Let's Thunderbolt this Arbok, and I will run up and get Pyra healed. Mainly to uh, get Pyra healed for the fight. Because there, um, there are more fights up ahead of us. A, such a dreadful twerp! But I was so confident this time! Wow, I actually did a decent James. Hmm, how infuriating! Sorry, just checking on the recording. Don't let go. Uh, don't let it go to your head just because your Pokemon were teeny tiny bit stronger. That does sound like something Jesse would say. Exactly. And even if you did defeat us in battle, we're only we are still bigger and stronger than you. Ooh, just use brute force too. Eek! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! What do you have to say, Eveline? Eveline looks completely exasperated. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and go heal. Because I can't rem- uh, Yeah, I'll go to the Pokemon Center. And uh, as I'm going to the Pokemon Center, just to um, burn a little bit of time, yeah, I am wondering about that. Why are ghosts weak to dark type? Like, I know dark, like, I'm trying to think, because, oh, right, it's been a day. The items have respawned in here. Um, I'm going to have to look around for these items, because I do plan on recording two episodes back to back. Alright, so later today when I do the next recording, I gotta look around for those items. Uh, no, the Sagby, the Pokemon Center is up, not down. Down's where the gym is. 
But yeah, I am curious, like, why is Ghost weak to dark? I am curious about that. Cause now, cause when I think about it, it's like, cause in Japan, the dark type is known as evil type, in case any of you don't know. So, in terms of darkness or evil, why are ghosts weak to it? Don't, uh, like, evil maybe, but ghosts thrive in darkness. <laughs> when you see ghosts, you typically see them in the dark or at night. So it makes very little sense. I'm just going to look around for these items. Because honestly, I thought I was going to uh, be, um... Damn it, what am I trying to say? I thought it would be take a little longer, actually, to get through the Team Rocket hideout. Because, to be perfectly honest, I want to save the next two fights for the next episode, if, to be perfectly honest. I saw the tail. I'm not crazy. The tail did go up around here, did it? Yeah. Maybe it's on something that's on the other side. A pee pee up? I didn't know you could find pee pee ups here. At least I don't remember. I know that you could mainly find uh, candies and berries. I know for a fact you can occasionally find bottle caps here. So let's go down. And actually, just to um, get the timer to the bit of the mark, I'm actually going to send off some Pokemon to the Professor to show you how you do get more candies. So let's go down. That way I'm on the down that way I'm down there ready for the fight. So let me show you. So you go to your bag. You go to this, which your Pokemon box. So apparently this is gonna be returning in Sword and Shield, at least something something like it, but I believe in a more limited quantity. Or more restricting quantity. So you first select the Pokemon. You send to the professor. And then you just select the Pokemon that you want to send. You can send, I believe, you can send 30 at a time. The more of a, a breed of a Pokemon you send, the more of the reward you're going to get. Actually, I'll keep Charmeleon. Should I get rid of the Alola forms? Nah, I'll keep them. Fable. Chansey is debatable. So you used to get him, the professor getting a message back from the professor. Thank you for sending those Pokemon. This will help, uh, this will, this will help a good deal with my research. Apparently I can't talk today. And looks like, and look at this, you sent me six Subat. Pitchy is quite a fine Pokemon. That's it. I think you earned some candy for for all your help getting me Pokemon giving getting me Pokemon to study. Candies can make your Pokemon stronger, so use them on your Pokemon on you like I uh, you like to train too as well. A lot of quick candies. Uh, each uh, thirty Pokemon. The more you send, I think the better the rewards you get. Um. And also, depending on the species of Pokemon you send to the Professor, uh, can also reflect on what candy you're going to get. So some Pokemon specialize in quick candy. I believe whatever candy you get off the Pokemon for, for the, from capturing them is what you get when you send to the Professor. Thank you, my boy. This will help. This will this this will help a good deal with my research. And look at this. You've sent me 17 Vulpix. Geodude's quite a fine Pokemon. I think you earn yourself a reward. And uh, if you send enough Pokemon of that species, you will you can actually get species candy. So in the next episode, we're gonna go into this room and encounter the boss. See you all next time. <laughs>